Welcome guys, welcome back to another Canny Valley Endurance video. Today we're going to be talking about the flex amplifier that is actually probably the worst amplifier in the game. Honestly, it sucks dick. Uh, but we're, we're going to, we've, we've gotten it pretty good. We're going to be talking about the south side today of flex amp. So flex south. Uh, if we're at the storm shield, it's going to be the amp all the way to the southeast in this pit over here. Um, this is by far the worst amplifier I've seen in Candy Valley, and if you've placed this, I feel sorry, but we're gonna help you out today. Um, we have quite a complex build, uh, if I'm being real. It, the, tunnels, the tunnels are t simple, right? But there's so many weird spawns and uh, everything that we kind of have to, like, show you a lot of different things about it. But uh, we have some floating tunnels, some uh, weird block off and everything, weird spawns that we just have to take care of. So uh, let's, let's check out the tunnel first. So, uh, the spawns are going to be back here, along this ridge, up here, up this ramp, there's going to be a spawn here, there's going to be spawns down here, and then there's going to be spawns all the way up here. So, um, how do we perch in this? We have a ceiling drop trap spawn trap and a ceiling electric field spawn trap up there. We come through, uh, there's going to be block off to the left. We're going to come through this ta uh, tunnel, uh, we're going to get sound walled, there's uh, ceiling drop traps and everything, there's uh, sound walls to get the propane off, we come into a triple uh, timeout room with a very big AoE damage, they come down, there's going to be uh, a massive nuking uh, tunnel, and then they're going to drop down, there's the ceiling drop trap little fall pits that I usually make. As well as there's going to be a right tunnel, so the, the right tunnel is going to be um, just a basic tunnel. Uh, so they're going to walk from spawn right here. They're going to drop down. There's going to be a timeout room with um, sound walls. There's going to be a timeout room with uh, broadsides and uh, wall darts. We're going to come down. There's going to be ceiling drop traps and uh, broadside little tunnels on the ramp. There's going to be a chain recycler here. There's going to be a chain recycler, a timeout room to the left with staggered, uh, with the staggered walls. They're going to be a chain recycle right here. So, um, first we got to talk about what, like, block off is and how we're going to approach it. And then we'll talk about the traps in this tunnel. So, what is block off? Um, and how do we approach it? So, block off is how, uh, we path the husks. So, we don't want the husks going where they want to go, which is usually the path of least resistance. So, a way we're going to accomplish that is we're going to build, uh, a lot of resistance in between them and their, uh, objective. And uh, that way we can uh, make them path the, the correct way. So one of the concepts we're going to be using is a sandwich. So a sandwich is a cone edited facing a direction that you want to protect. And you're going to surround that in walls. What that is going to happen is we're going to have to break through one, two, three structures to break through, through that. And we're going to tier three that all the way up. This is providing a very big disincentive to the husk to walk through it. We're also going to go over a concept called um, a full sandwich. A full sandwich has an edited floor tile on the side you want to protect. So look, I can't walk through that. We're going to edit our cone piece and we're going to surround that in walls. What this is going to allow us to do is have four layers of protection in between our husks and our objective, which is not going to equal four layers just because edited floors aren't as good as uh, we make them out to be. But it's going to add a lot of block off in a very short amount of space. So it'd be one, two, three, four things they have to beat through. So a lot of the times they just won't even beat through it. They'll walk the correct path. All right. So the traps we're going to be using in this, we're going to be using a very diverse set of traps uh, for warning. So some of the traps we're going to be using we're going to be using anti-air traps. Mine are double reload, double durability, one heals attached, and one increased building health. You can change these rolls up if you want to have included range. I just haven't messed with these in a while. We have broadsides. Broadsides are going to be element physical, damage, crit damage, crit rating, reload speed, increased building health. We're going to have two drop trap uh, schematics. One is going to be one crit rating, one crit damage, durability, reload speed, durability. The other is going to be element physical, crit rating, crit damage, damage, reload speed, durability. We're going to have ceiling electric fields. These are going to be element energy, crit rating, reload speed, damage, crit damage, increased building health. We're going to have ceiling zappers. These are going to be element energy, damage, crit damage, crit rating, reload speed, durability we're going to have floor freeze traps i have these rolls you can have different rolls but these are just mine so there are two impact two reload speed one durability one increased building health there's better uh rolls but that's the rolls we have 
we're going to have three times uh, impact, two times reload speed, uh, uh, one durability floor launcher. We're going to have sound walls. We're going to have two schematics for sound walls. One I don't have the schematic for, and I asked for a friend for it. But it's basically one's going to be triple durability, two reload speed, one effect duration. And then we're going to have a schematic that has uh, only one reload speed. It basically all dur uh, durability and effect duration. What this is going to allow us to do is stagger our wall light timings in specific tunnels. Then we're going to have tar pits. Tar pits are going to be all durability. We don't use these for the damage. We just use them to get uh, for the trap for the enemies to get stuck in it. We're going to have wall darts. These wall darts are going to be element physical, crit rating, crit damage, crit rating, durability, increased building health. You could probably make a better damaging roll for these, honestly. Wall dynamos. These are going to be element energy, crit rating, crit damage, damage, reload speed, durability. We're going to have two different types of wall launchers. One that is triple impact, two times reload sp uh, speed, and uh, one durability. And we're going to have another that's two reload speed, all durability. What these are going to be used is to push the husks different distances. So this will only push them about a tile and a half, and this will push them about two to three tiles in between that, the three times impact wall launchers. And they're both going to have two times reload speed, so they're working constantly. Uh, we're also going to have uh, wall wooden, wooden floor spikes and uh, wall spikes. My wall spikes can be whatever, just I have heels building attached on them. And uh, wooden floor spikes, these are going to have uh, just any roll on them, basically. They're just used to slow down the husks. And I also have blue wooden floor spikes if I don't want to damage the husks. Uh, these are going to have all durability, no, uh, no perks into damage. Alright, so... Let's go ahead and end up look at the tunnel, and uh, let me confuse you guys, because this is probably the hardest build you guys are going to experience. Not just from, like, it's not, like, the hardest, like, in terms of, um, uh, like, thought process. It's the hardest in terms of, I don't know how the hell to explain this, but uh, let's get to it. All right, so how are we going to, how are we going to start this? We're going to start at this natural ramp near their spawn. You'll see this little, like, cave alcove here, and then there's a ramp to the left of it. We're going to start there. We're going to place... A floor down, there's going to be a floor launcher. This is going to be three times impact, two times reload speed. This floor launcher is going to shoot them all the way up, and a ceiling drop trap's going to uh, drop down on them. We'll cover the ceiling drop traps and the lava shield later, just because, like, I don't know how to, like, really get you up there at the moment. But we're going to attach a sound wall to the right and to the east of it. This is going to be the two times reload speed one. We're going to go a wall above it. We're going to go a wall to the south. And then we're going to attach a... Uh, a floor to this uh, wall. We're going to come up here. This is going to be a ceiling drop trap, the double durability one. We're going to go to the south. There's going to be another ceiling drop trap with double durability. All right. Under, uh, now we're going back to the west. There's going to be a ceiling drop trap with double durability. A ceiling drop trap with double durability, another one to the west. We're going to go back to the east one, and we're going to go to another ceiling drop trap with double durability. Uh, so this is going to be like a 2x2 two two grid, so right here, these are going to be a 2x2 two two grid of uh, ceiling drop traps with double durability. Alright. So if you can see, there's a 2x2 two two grid right here of ceiling drop traps with double durability, then those are the two ceiling drop traps we added earlier. We're going to uh, keep going forward, there's going to be a, uh, if we're going to one over from the west from our original floor launcher, there's going to be a, a sound wall. This is going to be have two reload speeds on it. We're going to go to the north one tile. There's going to be blue wooden floor spikes with, um, these are just going to be all the durability ones. This is just so we don't damage the propane husks enough to uh, make them explode. To the left, there's going to be a wall launcher with three, or with all durability, two times reload speed. This is so the husks don't get pushed all the way over here. They just get pushed into this tunnel. This is going to have two times reload speed on it, the sound wall, uh, with, uh, all durability. This one's going to have one reload speed. So what's going to happen is this is going to go off. It's going to go one, two, and then this one's going to go off, and they're just going to keep staggering each other. On the floor, we're going to have a floor launcher. This is going to shoot the husks up, and it's going to trigger the ceiling drop trap, and the drop trap's going to drop on the husks that land in here. Ceiling drop traps won't ignite propane, so you'll see them a lot in like the beginnings of my tunnels and stuff like that. So we're going to go to the north here. We're going to have a floor tile with wooden floor spikes, a uh, three times impact, two times reload speed wall launcher, a ceiling electric field. We're going to go to the right, and this is going to be basically my triple timeout rooms that uh, AOE everything. So there's going to be a wall dart across, a wall dart to the right, 
a ceiling electric field above, a floor freeze trap on the bottom, and then a wall dynamo with an edited wall, uh, low wall. An edited low wall is basically a wall with all the uh, top six tiles taken out. So we're going to go forward. There's going to be a stagger recycler. So we're going to use this edit and place it here so that uh, smashers that walk here get staggered into our timeout rooms and take damage. So there's going to be a wall launcher with three times impact, two times reload speed, a ceiling electric field, a wooden floor spike, a floor freeze trap, a wall dart, a ceiling electric field, a low wall with a dynamo, low wall with a dynamo. We're going to keep going forward. There's a stagger recycler here. There's going to be a tar pit. A wall launcher. Above, there's supposed to be a ceiling electric field, but traps disappear in Endurance sometimes, so we're going to replace that. Uh, there's going to be a tar pit below. There's going to be a floor freeze trap, a low wall with a dynamo, a wall dart, and then there's going to be another wall dart to the left. As we move forward, we're going to have a basically a shit ton of damage right here. There's going to be a tar pit. Um, the all durability one. There's going to be a ceiling zapper above. There's going to be a low wall with a wall dynamo. A low wall with a wall dynamo on both sides. We're going to go to the right. There's going to be a uh, floating floor. There's going to be a wall with a wall dart um, on it. And then there's above it's going to be a ceiling electric field. Then we're going to have a wall to the north. We're going to go to the left tunnel. It's going to be the, basically the same thing. A wall dart shooting into our uh, tar pit. Above is going to be a ceiling electric field. Wall on both sides and then a floor. Um, this is because this is floating and, uh, like, uh, we just need these floors here. All right, so we're going to keep going. Attached to our ceiling electric field, there's going to be a ceiling drop trap. Uh, and then attached to that is going to be a wall dart shooting into this tunnel. Uh, we're going to keep going down. There's going to be a wall attached uh, behind under the um, wall trap. We're going to drop down. There's going to be a wall from the floor, another wall from the floor. This is going to have a ceiling or a wall dynamo. Attached to the right is going to be a broadside. Attached to the left is going to be a broadside. And then under us is a floor. This is a floating floor. Um, as we go forward, att attached to that wall that we place under the wall uh, dart, there's going to be a ceiling drop trap. These are going to be the damage ones, not the durability ones. Uh, attached to that is going to be a wall dart, another wall under that. We're going to fall down. We're going to waterfall down with a wall underneath the floor, another wall underneath the floor with a wall dynamo, a broadside, a broadside, and a tar pit. And then we're going to have the drop trap up there. So that's going to be the, the first tunnel. We're going to have two tunnels. So if you look, this is a floating tunnel. That's going to path down. Normally, they're not going to drop four tiles down, but we're giving them a path to drop four tiles down, so they will. All right. So we're going to go to the second tunnel over here. We'll cover um, a lot of the spawn trap when we go over the lobber shield as well, if you guys are having trouble building that, because it's integrated into the lobber shield. So we're going to have a spawn trap here, and of course, the game hates me and likes uh, traps to disappear. But um, we're going to start at this tunnel. So if we're going to start at this natural outcropping, there's this little alcove we mentioned earlier. Uh, we're going to go to the edge of that natural terrain. We're going to go one tile to the east and one tile to the north. We're going to place, uh, we're going to drop down. There's going to be a blue wooden floor spike. To the left is going to be a wall launcher with three times impact, two times reload speed. This is going to go into a one reload speed sound wall, a tar pit, and a two reload speed sound wall, and then a wall behind it. We're going to keep going forward. There's going to be a three times impact, two times reload speed wall launcher, a ceiling electric field above, a blue wooden floor spike, a gold wooden floor spike, two broadsides, a ceiling electric field, and wall darts. We're going to keep going forward. We're going to place a broadside on the left side, a broadside on the right side. We're going to attach to that a wall dart, and then above that's going to be a ceiling drop trap. This is going to stun and stagger the husks on this ramp, and it's going to keep damaging husks that are even down here. We're going to keep going forward. There's going to be a ceiling drop trap attached to the bottom of this wall dart. There's going to be a broadside on the left, broadside on the right, and a wall dart uh, shooting across. We're going to keep going forward. There's going to be a ceiling electric field um, above attached to this wall dart. There's going to be a wall launcher to the left, a wooden floor spike on the floor. Um, where This is going to push the husks over here into um, a tar pit, a wall launcher, uh, facing the north, a ceiling electric field, a ceiling electric field, and then a timeout room with a tar pit. So it's going to be a broadside, wall dart, broadside. This is also part of the east tunnel. So as we go forward from this wall launcher, there's going to be a stagger recycler wall uh, here. So a low wall, um, a quarter low wall. There's going to be a tar pit, 
There's going to be a wall launcher, three times impact, two times reload speed. Above is going to be a ceiling electric field. This is going to be a ce uh, ceiling zapper in here, which I don't have on me, which I'll replace. Uh, there's going to be a floor freeze trap, two broadsides on the left and the right, and then a wall dart across from the wall launcher. As we go forward, there's a uh, low wall here. There's going to be a wooden floor spike, a wall dart, a ceiling zapper, and a wall launcher. This is going to be three times impact, two times reload speed. There's going to be a tar pit. There's going to be a wall dart to the left, a wall launcher with three times impact, two times reload speed, and above is going to be a ceiling zapper. As we go forward to the north, there's going to be a tar pit, a wall dart, a ceiling zapper, and a three times impact, two times reload speed wall launcher. So that's the main two tunnels out of this. The tunnels aren't very hard. It's the next part that's going to be hard, the lobber shield and block off. So now we're going to talk about the block off. Yay. So, all right. Here's the deal. This this amp's pretty complex with block off, so uh, I would honestly pause this video as many times as you need, go through it as many times, and make sure you get this right. But all right, so the first block off we're going to talk about. So we have this floating spawn trap that we uh, we discussed earlier, right? The first thing we're going to do is we're going to go to this natural ridge over here. If uh, there's normally a shack over here, and then there's a natural ramp right here. What we're going to do is start at the bottom of that natural ramp. We're going to place a floor as our reference point. We're going to place a wall that's going to have a wall launcher on it. We're going to place another wall to the west of that. Uh, and then we're going to place another wall to the east of that and a, we uh, a wall to the north of that. So it's just going to be one, two, three, four walls. Behind that, behind the northmost wall, we're going to place a cone facing the southeast. A cone with the three edited tiles on the south, east, and north side. We're going to have a cone facing the southeast, and this is going to provide layering so the husks that spawn here don't beat through this, and then walk all the way down here to our block off. We're also going to be at this natural ramp. They'll break this tile right here, this wall, uh, wall tile, but there's going to be a floor at the top of this natural ramp, a cone on top of that floor. There's going to be two walls to the south and the west of it. And then behind that, there's going to be a ramp on behind each wall. So a ramp, a ramp, and then a cone facing the northeast. So there's uh, that little block off and that little block off we've gone over. So now we're going to drop down to the north from this little wall right here. And there's going to be a wall that's going to be... Uh, Facing the west. So, and then we're going to go to the north. There's going to be another wall. We're going to make a cone piece facing the southeast. A cone piece facing the northeast. And we're going to surround those in walls. So, if we can use this uh, natural ridge as like our guidance point. Uh, there, a floor tile to the west of that. Or east of that. And these are this is where these sandwiches are going to be. Alright. So, that's, uh, that's this top block off over here. And it's going to make sure these husks don't walk uh, on top of our... Uh, ceiling drop trap area we're going to another uh, another thing we're going to do is uh to the north of this little uh like block off over here that we made we're going to drop down one and there's going to be a cone facing the southeast and then a wall to the east of that all right so now we're going to go down to our tunnel um where we started our uh, first wall launcher timeout room into these uh, sound walls, we're going to start our like main block off. So we're going to have a cone to the facing the southeast uh, surrounded in walls behind this wall launcher. We're going to hop to the west. There's going to be a cone facing the southeast surrounded in walls, except for on the natural terrain side. Behind that, there's going to be a cone facing the southwest and a cone facing the southeast connected to each other surrounded in walls. Behind that... To the uh, north, there's going to be a tile with a cone facing the southeast surrounded in walls. Behind that, there's going to be a cone uh, facing the southeast surrounded in walls. Alright. So, now, this is where it gets a bit weird. If we edit our way down here... Wow, there's a, there's a natural ramp down here. Alright, so we're in the natural ramp. Uh, this is where things are going to get a little bit weird for you guys, uh... That's perfectly okay. So we're going to go to the top of the natural ramp. There's going to be a floor uh, at the top of this natural ramp. There's going to be a wall behind it. There's going to be a floor um, above this wall. There's going to be a cone. This cone is going to be edited uh, into a uh, little Dorito. I don't know a better way to call that, but that's a Dorito. There's going to be an edited floor tile with the two north uh, tiles taken out. 
There's going to be a wall. There's going to be a ramp behind this wall. Uh, facing the south. And then there's going to be another wall. Uh, with a sand, like a full sandwich. Or a half sandwich. Uh, with the edited cone tile facing the southwest. Let me get up there real quick. But this is basically going to ensure nothing goes down this natural tunnel. There's going to be a sufficient amount of layers that they're going to want to go through our tunnel. So that should cover the block off on the right side. Pretty much all of it, I think. So now we're going to talk about the block off on the left side and uh, everything like that. So block off on the far right side. So we're going to go to this natural outcropping right here. Uh, this one by two. We're going to go one tile to the east. There's going to be one wall and another wall and another wall. So there's going to be three walls behind it. Behind that, we're going to place three ramps. This should be all you need. I have some extra block off over here, but I don't think it's needed. So there's going to be um, just wall, wall, wall uh, and three ramps behind that. We're going to keep going forward. Uh, there's going to be at this natural ramp. There's going to be two sandwiches. One facing the southwest, uh, both these cones facing the southwest, and these are going to be surrounded in walls except for on the natural terrain side. Alright, so we're going to edit through here real quick. Okay, if I can hit my edit. Boop, boop, boop. Behind uh, this sandwich, uh, the far east sandwich, there's going to be a cone facing the southeast, and that's going to be surrounded in walls. And that should be sufficient amount of block off that they're going to go through this tunnel. Alright. So, let's go check to see if I missed any block off anywhere, because I don't think I did. So, this heat right here was to make sure the husks... Okay, so this is actually pretty important. So, we're going to go uh, behind this tunnel right here. There's going to be this natural ramp that is uh, one too long. We're going to come up over here. There's going to be a natural ramp over here. There's going to be a wall with a 3 times impact, 2 times reload speed wall launcher. And then a floor and a cone above it. This is going to make sure that flingers that want to come over here get launched all the way back over here and then just walk through the tunnel. Okay, so that should be the block off. Um, yeah, that uh, is a little bit complex if I'm being honest. And it's going to be hard for you guys to build. Um, but take your time with the video. I went over all the block off right there. Now we're going to go over the lava shield. Alright, so at this point we have this spawn trap over here, this spawn trap at the beginning of this tunnel, we have this tunnel uh, right here. So what we're going to do is we're going to start with the, the killing of the uh, husks up on top of the hill. So we're going to start at this wall launcher, so at this immediate wall launcher with the, the sound wall, the staggered sound walls. We're going to go one tile to the north. Uh, there's going to be a floor here, which is going to have our start of our damaging traps. And there's going to be a floor to the, or a wall to the north of that. We're going to go one tile, two tiles over. On top of these uh, walls, there's going to be one ramp, two ramp, three, uh, three ramps. So there's going to be a ramp above each of those. On the westmost one, there's going to be two ramps going up. So there's going to be two ramps going up this west one. There's going to be a floor, and this is going to have a ceiling drop trap above it. This is going to be uh, the one where the floor launchers are shooting them up all the way up here, and it's going to be triggering the ceiling drop trap to drop all the way down there. This won't go off unless that uh, floor launcher is there. Attached uh, to the north of that and one layer down is going to be a ceiling drop trap that uh, drops onto the husks on the, the wooden floor spike, so it should be above the wooden floor spike. So, now that we're uh, on the second one, we're going to go to the east uh, wall. There's going to be one ramp, and then there's going to be a wall above it. Uh, attached to that wall is going to be a floor with the double durability ceiling drop trap. Attached to that is going to be a wall. This is going to have nothing on it, but as we keep going, there's going to be a, ce uh, a ceiling attached to it. There's going to be a ceiling electric field and a ceiling electric field. So... We're going to go east. There's going to be another ceiling electric field and another ceiling electric field attached to that. So it's a 2x2 two two grid. So we're going to come down here, back to where these two walls are as our reference point. We're going to go up uh, towards the ramp on the second one. We're going to go over to the left. There's going to be two cones edited as ramps uh, to the east. This is going to make sure that anything that is right there on that ramp does not throw. Uh, on the first one, there's going to be a wall up. There's going to be a ramp attached to it, and then there's going to be attached to the 2x2 two two of uh, ceiling electric fields. 
Alright, so attached, so we're up here. Anything that's up here is going to get killed by these ceiling electric fields, and they're going to drop down. Alright, so another problem we we've, uh, we could run into is they're going to drop down onto this natural ramp and then drop down into our lava shield. So what we did is uh, we're going to attach a wall off the edge of this 2x2 uh, two two grid to the east. We're going to place a ceiling with a ceiling electric field on it, a wall below it, another wall below it, and then a floor. This is going to be on the natural terrain, this floor. Um... So there's going to be two above it, and then there's going to be a ceiling electric field. We're going to go to the east one tile. There's going to be a wall attached. There's going to be a ceiling electric field above, and then they're going to drop down onto this uh, spawn trap, which we'll go over in a second. So attached to this wall, there's also going to be a, uh, a ceiling tile. All right, so now we're going to go on to our, uh, our lobber shield over here. So we're going to go to the front of this tunnel where the wall launcher is. We're going to go one tile to the north, and then on the north side of that, there's going to be a, a ramp. There's going to be one ramp. Uh, there's going to be four ramps, so there's, we're going to go to the east one more tile. There's going to be one ramp, two ramp, three ramps, four ramps. Uh, starting at this natural terrain, there's going to be four ramps over. Attached to each of these is going to be a wall. On the eastmost side, we're going to come up. We're going to attach a floor piece. And this is going to have a ceiling drop trap on it. Uh, we're going to go to the south one more. There's going to be a ceiling drop trap on it. And then we're going to go to the south one more and there's going to be a ceiling drop trap. So there should be three ceiling drop traps. And we're going to mimic the same thing to the west. So there's going to be one, two, three, the ones we just placed. And then we're going to go to the west and there's going to be another one by three. So one, two, three. So there's six ceiling drop traps here. Above that... Uh, how we connected uh, this little kill tunnel to it. Um, there's going to be one uh, floor wall tile here. Uh, so if you're starting at this little ridge, it's going to be one tile to the east. There's going to be one wall tile, two wall tile, three wall tiles. So what this is going to do is provide layering so that husks don't walk from right here, walk down our lobber shield, and walk straight to the amp. It's going to make them force them down here. So behind this, there's a there's another wall to the the south of uh, the starting wall. Behind this, there's going to be a one ramp, two ramps, three ramps, and then a floor piece uh, where the ranch ramps attached to. So they're going to have to break through the floor or the ramp. All right. So uh, attached to this two by three of ceiling drop traps, there's going to be one ramp, two ramps. Uh, attached to that is going to be a 1x3 of ceiling drop traps. Um, I know this is a lot to take in, and you might want to pause the video a little bit um, to get a hold of it, but we're going to hover this real quick so you guys can get like a better understanding of it. Okay. So that should be covering the amp. We're gonna we're gonna go around and we're gonna hover it, and we're gonna go back through the tunnels just to make sure you guys got it. But um, I know it's a lot. Uh, I agree, um, but this amp is really, really bad, and this is the solution we came up with. So, um, all right, let's go back through it. So, the spawns are all around here. There's going to be ceiling drop trap, a uh, spawn trap, to prevent the husk from taking up our uh, trap tunnel durability. There's going to be sound walls, floor launchers launching them up into ceiling drop traps. There's going to be a timeout room to get the propane off. There's going to be three timeout rooms with AoE damage. There's going to be a kill tunnel right here for smashers. Then there's going to be the, the drop trap tunnels. We're going to go over to the right tunnel. And there's going to be... Let's get up over here. Ceiling drop trap spawn trap. There's going to be a timeout room for... Um, propane to get their propane off there's going to be a timeout room there's going to be broadside tunnels with drop traps broadside tunnel with drop traps we're going to have a chain recycler into a timeout room a timeout room we're going to have a chain recycler uh with ceiling electric fields above it or ceiling zappers above it and that's really the amp there's we don't we don't have any builds around this amp um for the amp design because we're going to be using uh, a lot of this later on um for the south and or for the north and east side but uh yeah this is this is the south side of the amp this is probably the most complex build you'll build out of these uh three but i hope you guys enjoyed it thank you guys for watching the video if you guys like the video make sure to like like actually like it 
Make sure to subscribe to the channel for more content. And make sure you guys um, are commenting on the videos. I love to see you. I also stream on Twitch at twitch.tv slash Mitch underscore Robs. There's going to be a link in the description if you guys want to watch me uh, build, do Mythic Storm King, do really anything in this game and have fun. A lot of memes on the channel. But thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate it. There's going to be gameplay after this.